so cool. That was amazing. You know, Mars is the closest place that we can reach with robotic exploration that we think had a really good chance of having ancient life. The Perseverance rover will land at a location called Jezero Crater. Jezero Crater is a very interesting place. It's a crater that once held a lake. There are a lot of craters on the surface of Mars that could have once hosted ancient lakes, but not every crater that we think had a lake actually preserves evidence that that lake was there. It had an inflow channel and it had an outflow channel. That means it was filled, the crater was filled with water. In Jezero, we have probably one of the most beautifully preserved delta deposits on Mars in that crater. This is a wonderful place to live for microorganisms. And it is also a wonderful place for those microorganisms to be preserved so that we can find them now so many billions of years later. There is no other place on Mars that has the unique combination of a lake setting, a beautifully preserved delta, and the diverse mineralogy that we have in Jezero Crater. So it's truly a special landing site. The major goal of the Perseverance mission is to investigate astrobiology on Mars, and in particular, to address the question of whether life ever existed on Mars. The Perseverance rover starts with a design that's very similar to Curiosity, but we've added to it a whole new set of science instruments. And these science instruments were purposefully selected to help us in the search for biosignatures. We're gonna be taking uh, microphones with us for the first time we're going to have uh, that human sense on another planet. Perseverance carries with her a grand experiment in uh, space-faring yes. technology, a helicopter, the, the name of which is now Ingenuity. One of the major upgrades that Perseverance has from Curiosity is that it's able to self-drive for a distance of up to 200 meters per day. As the rover is driving, it's literally building the map of the road it's driving on on Mars. Scientists for years have told us that to really unlock the secrets of Mars, we have to bring samples from Mars back to Earth. So what Mars 2020 is going to do is to drill samples put them in small tubes. We're gonna seal it in its own individual tube. We set them on the surface to provide a target for the second two missions, which hopefully will get in development in the next several years and could potentially get the samples back to Earth by 2031. Wow. Perseverance is a very, very profound first step in both Mars. our understanding of our place in the universe and a stepping stone towards human exploration of Mars. Yes. So awesome. So inspiring. When you go to another planet, there's just so much potential for making brand new discoveries. I'm actually putting something together that's flying to Mars. One way or another, you're going to be on the ground in seven minutes. We want it to be there safely. My name is Heather Bottom, and I'm helping prepare the spacecraft that will fly our next Mars rover to the Martian surface. My name is Diana Trujillo, and I work with robotic arms to collect samples on Mars. I'm Al Chen, and I lead the landing team for Mars 2020. My name is Michelle Tommy Pulizzi. My name is Mujige Stricker. My name is Joe Tagadon. My name is Katie Stack Morgan, and I'm helping to protect the next Mars rover. Mars 2020 will be Girl. seeking signs of ancient Girl life scientists. in the rock record of Mars. What we're trying to do is to roll around the surface of this unknown planet, rock collect stars. samples, process the tubes as they come back, to look Girl. for things Girl. that we call biosignatures, so that eventually we can bring those samples back to Earth and determine for the very first time, did life exist on Mars? But also, where could it be preserved for one more billion years for us yeah. to find it? Before the rover actually flies, you have to make sure that everything works properly with the flight software and the hardware. And we hit the atmosphere going, you know, 12, 13,000 miles per hour. After the journey through space, through the vacuum. We try to test all of our hardware to the environments that we would see. So that's where a lot of the testing happens uh, behind me. We spend lots and lots of hours here testing everything. It gets put in an oven, it gets put in various chambers and clean rooms. So what we can see over here is the stacked spacecraft. The robotic arm is actually right behind me. This is the place where the magic happens. This is the Mars Yard, and this is where our rovers practice driving over rocky terrain. There are hundreds of people that have to come together and build a spacecraft. You kind of have to put those different pieces together and make sure that those pieces all are going to work. And I feel like such a lucky person to be working on this. Everything that you're touching, all this hard work that you're putting in the long hours. 20 years, your children will be reading this in your science book. It feels great. I don't <laughs> be looking at books in 20 years. Woohoo! I used to clean so houses.